Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're going over Don Lee Farms, Crisp Pups, Green Chili Carnitas Crispy Tacos, Crispy Chicken Burrito Tacos, Al Pastor Chicken Crispy Tacos, and Shredded Chicken Crispy Tacos. Each bag weighs 13 ounces and costs $5.97. So let's go over the Green Chili Carnitas Crispy Tacos first. Out of 43 reviews, they received 2.7 stars out of 5, and said they're the closest thing you can get outside of a truly authentic Mexican restaurant. Here's the very short list of ingredients, and they don't get much simpler than this. I'm impressed. They're not filled with a bunch of garbage. There's three two taco servings per bag. Each serving has 240 calories, 13 grams of total fat, 3.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 260 milligrams of sodium, 21 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 2 grams of sugars, and 10 grams of protein. Even the nutrition facts are impressive. Next up, we have the Crisp Ups Chicken Burrito Crispy Tacos. Out of 73 reviews, the Chicken Burrito Tacos got 3.2 stars out of 5. The most helpful positive review gave it 5 stars and said they're not burritos, but they're still really good. The most helpful negative review gave it 1 star and said they're not good at all. Here's a list of ingredients, and again, they're quite impressive, and they're not full of junk. And I almost forgot to point out in the first bag of tacos that all of these tacos use dark meat chicken which is far superior to white meat chicken, or even worse, a foreign meat slurry concoction. There's three two taco servings per bag. Each serving has 260 calories, 12 grams of total fat, four grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 40 milligrams of cholesterol, 520 milligrams of sodium, 23 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, 3 grams of sugars, and 14 grams of protein. Now onto the Crisp Ups Al Pastor style crispy tacos with pineapple. Out of 36 reviews, these tacos received 2.8 stars out of 5. The most helpful positive review gave it 5 stars and said that the tacos were so good and they really enjoyed them. The most helpful negative review gave it one star and said the tacos only contain a teaspoon of chicken. Here's the very short list of ingredients. There's three two taco servings per bag. Each serving has 200 calories, nine grams of total fat, one and a half grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 125 milligrams of sodium, 24 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugars, and 8 grams of protein. Now for the fourth and final flavor, before we get these heated up, let's go over the Crisp Ups Shredded Chicken Crispy Tacos, which out of 91 reviews, received 3.7 stars out of 5. The most helpful positive review gave it 5 stars and said it's an interesting take on Mexican food. The most helpful negative review gave it two stars and said if you want a flavorless snack, this is it. Here's the ingredient list. Per two taco serving, there's 260 calories, 12 grams of total fat, four grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 40 milligrams of cholesterol, 520 milligrams of sodium, 23 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugars, and 14 grams of protein. Now you can cook these in an air fryer, a conventional oven, or a skillet. I'm gonna do mine in the oven since I'm doing four different flavors of tacos at a time. Now here's our tacos right out of the freezer and right out of the box. From the left to the right, we have green chili carnitas crispy tacos, crispy chicken burrito tacos, al pastor chicken crispy tacos, and shredded chicken crispy tacos. Now these go into a preheated 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. After baking in a 375 degree oven for 25 minutes, our green chili carnitas crispy tacos are ready. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. 
These were actually pretty meaty and had great flavor. They weren't spicy whatsoever, and I was really skeptical about them being crispy, but they were pretty crispy. Not like a hard shell taco, but they were still pretty crispy. So let's look inside and see if there's really only a teaspoon of meat. They definitely weren't loaded with meat, but it was still delicious. But rather than paying a dollar per taco with that amount of meat, I'd rather pay 50 cents per taco, making these $3 per bag versus $6 per bag. So even though I think these green chili chicken carnita crispy tacos are overpriced for the amount of food you get, I think the quality of the food was pretty good, which is why they get a score of six out of 10. Now let's try the crispy chicken burrito tacos. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet. Now once again, this taco had great flavor, but the shell wasn't nearly as crispy as the first one. I think that's due to the sauce in the chicken. So let's take a peek inside and see how much meat we have. And just like the first one, not very much. But again, what little meat it did have, it was quite tasty. And again, just like the first one, with such a scant amount of meat, I wouldn't be willing to pay a dollar for them again. Which is why they also get a 6 out of 10. Next we have the Al Pastor Crispy Chicken Tacos. So into the old pie hole, and down the gullet it goes. And it basically tasted just like the Berea taco, except for it had pineapple in it, which was a nice little sweet addition. And it appears there's a lot more meat, but I think it's due to the amount of pineapple. There's as much pineapple in this as there is meat. And just like the Berea taco, the shells weren't nearly as crisp, but on these, they were only crisp on the edges and soggy and falling apart in the middle. And I'm pretty sure that's due to the moisture in the pineapple and the sauce in the chicken. But again, the filling was delicious. And I'm giving the Al Pastor Crispy Chicken Tacos a 6 out of 10. Finally, and last but not least, we're trying the Shredded Chicken Crispy Tacos. And before I take a big old bite, these shells feel the crispiest of all four. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet. And I was correct. The regular shredded chicken tacos and the overall tastiest and satisfying. And once we opened it up, I was a little bit disappointed because the first one tasted like there was a whole lot more meat in them than the other three. But once we opened it up, I'm out of meat. Maybe the cheese is what made the difference. I don't know, but this was the tastiest and most satisfying taco of all four, which is why they get a seven out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you soon.